I'm basically going to give you several tips that are definitely going to help you enhance your relationship however enhanced you like to think they are and there are so many more tips I could give because every relationship is unique and every relationship calls for different situations and different situations call for different actions but I'm just going to give you the basic foundations um, and principles that will definitely apply to every sort of relationship that is in your life. The first things I'm going to talk to you about are what I like to call the three C's. The three C's in no particular order stand for communication, compromise and character. When I say communication, I'm not necessarily referring to you two just talking on a face-to-face -face, face -face basis. No, I'm talking about talking to each other even when you don't want to, even when you're upset. Communicate with each other in the sense that you're honest with each other and you're not afraid to say things that may necessarily hurt the other person. But what I've always said is a good relationship with a person is one where they are willing to hurt you for your sake, uh, willing to hurt you for your benefit and one that is a bad relationship is one that is willing to hurt you for their own benefit um, because selflessness is definitely a plus when it comes to people so when you're talking to people and when you're angry and you're sad just understand that communicating with the other person is the only thing you're going to get what you need out of the relationship something to remember is anything that is missing in the relationship can only be what I am putting in and in regards to communication if you're not saying anything you're not gonna be heard the second C stands for compromise and what I mean by compromise is simple it's not all about you. That means that sometimes you're going to have to let go of things that you hold dear to yourself for the sake of letting that relationship progress. That means that you've got to learn to respect the other person in the sense that sometimes you will definitely have to tone your voice down or calm your temper down or maybe not spend so much, maybe not shout so much, maybe not be so angry or whatnot. You will definitely have to let some stuff go in order to gain a successful and better relationship. And believe me, if you don't learn to compromise for other people, no one will compromise for you and you'll end up just playing ping pong and just, it's not going anywhere. You're throwing it, they're throwing it back. And eventually one of you is gonna have to learn to put the paddle down and walk away because the game just won't benefit anyone and it just won't go anywhere. I'm not insulting anyone who likes ping pong, it's just an analogy, so don't get emotional with me. One of the most important C's and the final C is character. And what I mean by this is you as a person have got to work on your character and your virtues and learn to build yourself up as an individual individuals. before then bringing other people into your life. You've got to treat others as you would like to be treated. And what that means is you've got to work on yourself as a person. Find out who you are. You'd enjoy it if people were nicer to you. You'd enjoy it if people did things for you every once in a while. You'd enjoy it, I don't know, whatever it is that you enjoy um you are to figure that out about yourself and work on yourself as a good person and then once you do that do that to other people so that you can get it back now i'm not saying you have to receive what i'm saying is people matter in relationships and there won't there won't be any relationships without individuals first so as a person you sort of got to work on your character build that up and then focus on building up a relationship. Now, that's not to say you can't do that while in the relationship, but it's got to be a priority. You've got to work on yourself first before bringing other people, because if you bring people into an unfinished building, what happens, it collapses and kills people. You don't want to kill anybody, hypothetically speaking. So let's work on your character. Finally, I'm going to give you guys the two T's. These stand for time and trust. To keep it brief, I'm going to tell you the first T, which is time. What this means is you will never build a relationship with someone unless you spend quality time with the person. This can be just walks or just conversations, just anything that means you are spending physical time with the person, getting to know them because you can never get to know a person enough. If you don't spend time with a person, you can forget a person. And the worst thing to do is to forget someone who's bonded with you for so long. And the only way you can ever establish relationships and really establish bonds and keep them growing as if you spend time with people and treat them beautifully you know and, and and you can only do that when the person is there with you now we live in an age where we have technology so texting people and calling people is and skyping people is fine but nothing beats face-to-face -face interaction nothing beats face-to-face -face interaction and therefore the only way to really build proper spiritual and physical bonds with people is being there with them for as, for as much as you can the final t is trust you will only ever be able to trust people if you apply everything else i've told you in this video because if you don't compromise work on your character communicate or spend time with people you won't know who you're trusting because 
Imagine they did the same thing and you were both unfinished people. You wouldn't know who to trust. You have to learn to trust people and be open. And I know people have problems with trusting people because you've been hurt in the past. And what I have to say to those people is that you have to understand that is the process of life. The process of life essentially is about getting hurt, but not getting hurt to put you down because that's not what it's about. As the famous Rocky Balboa, like Sylvester Stallone said in the movie Rocky, life isn't about how much you get beat down it's about how much you get back up after you get beat down and essentially that's what it should be about you should learn to trust people regardless and learn from your mistakes and not let what people have done to you affect who you are unless it's for the positive and other than that trust is just a major component and build upon it and your relationship should be fine obviously this isn't everything but this is the foundation you apply these things to your life and believe me you will have amazing relationships they will enhance and they will go to a whole new level if you guys want me to talk about anything else and you want me to give advice about in any other area or just simply give my opinion about a topic put it in the comment section below and we will talk about it soon on that note love you guys see you and i wish you the best day or night ever peace out